What's going on guys? It's Peter from the Hit Chasers and today I'm going to do a little tutorial about how to route your MIDI channels from Reason into your DAW, into separate channels. Okay, so today I'm going to be using Sonar X1 as my DAW and the first thing we need to do is get Reason in there. So I'm going to go up to my synth rack up here. I'm going to choose insert a rewire device and select Reason. When the dialog box comes up, I'm going to go ahead and leave the MIDI source checked and I'm going to do just a first synth audio output. This is going to create two tracks, an audio track and a MIDI track. Those are fine for now, although we will get rid of them after a while. Okay, next thing we want to do is bring Reason in. Now I can do that by clicking on the little icon in the Reason Mix track and up comes Reason. Once Reason gets loaded, I'm going to go ahead and open up the sample track that I created for this tutorial, which I uh, named Sample. Imagine that. Anyway, on this track, I have three different elements. I have drums, I have bass guitar, and I have a piano. So what we're going to be doing here is taking those individual sounds and routing them out of Reason and routing them into their own separate tracks in Sonar. Okay, so in order to do that, in Reason we need to flip around the rack so we can see the back. And now we can see where everything is routed. So right now, each of the devices are going into the mixer in Reason. So within Reason you can adjust the volumes, panning, and some EQ. Uh, but what we want to do is separate these and send them to their own tracks within Sonar so that I can apply effects to each one of them within Sonar and if I want to record some live guitar along with that, if I want to record any other elements along with that, I'm able to do that on separate tracks and I don't have to work within two different devices, I keep everything in one. So in order to do that we have to create some audio tracks in sonar. So I'm going to do that right now and but we need to figure out how many we're going to need. Okay so I have drums, bass, and piano. So that's three right? But it's not three because on the drum track I actually have a kick that's being used, a snare that's being used, and a hi-hat that's being used. Now if I play the drum track for you you'll hear what I'm talking about. Okay, so I got a basic beat going on there. Now I have those three elements. Now I want to separate those three elements. So those are going to be three tracks all on their own. And then I'm going to have a track for bass and I'm going to have a track for piano. So that's a total of five tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and create five audio tracks. Five is already selected for me in this particular case. So here they go. Alright, so it went ahead and created five audio tracks. It also created a MIDI track in this case, and that's a setting that's by default. I don't need that many tracks, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And I also don't need the original two tracks that were created when we put Reason in the session. So I'm going to select them, and I'm going to get rid of them as well. So now we're left with these five tracks, and I'm going to go ahead and name them. We're going to call this kick, this one's going to be the snare, this one's going to be the hi-hat. We got a bass and we got a piano. Alright, now that I got it named, I need to route them from Reason into Sonar. So back in Reason, we're going to start with the kick drum, which we know is in redrum here, and it is on the first channel. And what we need to do is flip redrum around here, or flip reason around, so we can see the back. And we know that one is where it is coming out of. So what we need to do is get up here, not the mastery, we need to get up here on the hardware devices. At the very top on the back panel, you'll see that you have options for routing out, routing your audio out. So 
What you wanna do is you wanna grab from channel one out of redrum. I'll flip that back around again so we know. So right here is the kick drum. And we wanna route out of there. And we wanna take that into an open channel, three, and we wanna take the right one and the left one up there. So we're gonna pick three and four. Now, back over in sonar, we're gonna to go to our input and we're gonna select reason and we're gonna look for three and four because that's what we used. And we wanna go all the way down to stereo four because that's gonna include three and four in this case. So if you select that, you heard it. Now we're gonna have our kick drum coming out on the kick channel. So now we just need to do the same for the other elements. So the next one that we're gonna work on is the snare. And that over in Reason was on channel two. So I'm gonna flip that over. I'm gonna grab out of channel two. I'm gonna to go to five and six. Get those in there. And then I'm gonna go back over into Sonar. Select Reason, five and six. I'm gonna go down to six stereo because that will include five. Now I should be able to hear my snare in there. We can test that. There it is, perfect. Okay, so the next one was the hi-hat. And I know that that one was on channel eight of redrum. So I'm gonna flip that over. I'm gonna grab out of channel eight. I'm gonna go to two more open outputs here, which are seven and eight. I'm gonna come over here, make that seven and eight stereo is the one that I selected. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that alone. We'll see if we did this right, because I'm gonna go ahead and do the bass, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the piano as well. Now you can see that the bass was already pre-routed into channel two of the mixer. So all we gotta do is grab out of here in channel two and go to nine, and 10, just like that. And then over here, again, we go in and find the corresponding nine and 10, and we'll select 10 stereo. If I did it right, we're gonna hear bass when I'm done here. So let's do the piano real quick. Same procedure, go down here. Uh, piano was in three on the mixer, so we are gonna, whoops, here we go. We're gonna send that to 11 and 12, we are gonna route that to reason 11. We're gonna pick 12 stereo, because that will include 11. And we should have everything. So once I hit play, we should hear all of the elements, one by one. So it'll be a start with the drums, hear the hit, kick, hi-hat, there. There's the piano, and the bass will should come in here in just a second. And there it is. All right, now you, as you can see, everything is on its own separate channel. And we can check that just by playing. Let's get into the music here a little bit. And go ahead and solo each one. There's the kick. There's the snare, hi-hat, bass-ish, and the piano. So now that you've got everything on separate channels, you can mix them however you like. And as I said, you can go ahead and add live instruments or vocals or anything else you want to that as well. And you can work solely out of your DAW and not have to work within Reason mixing and work within your DAW. I hope this was helpful. If you found it helpful, please click on the subscribe button and take a look at the other content that we have here on the Hit Chasers. Check out what's going on at Jam Recording Studio every week. We're posting videos on Tuesdays and Fridays currently. Hope to see you soon.